हेलो एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल सो लेट्स टेक अनदर एसक्यूएल प्रोजेक्ट टूडे सो आई थिंक वी हैव कवर्ड ऑलरेडी टू 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 और थ्री प्रोजेक्ट्स इन अवर चैनल एंड दिस इज द थर्ड वन सो लेट मी शो यू द टेबल विच आर द टेबल्स वी हैव वी हैव we have uh, record label table then artist table then album table and then song table so we have total four different tables and all four tables are related to each other in some or either way so if you see the record table and the artist table you can see <coughs> that you can see that in record label table id is matching with the artist in the artist column with record label id right so if you see over here 165423 are different id are there which are present in the record label id column in artist table then if you see the uh, album table in the album table artist id is matching with the artist table id column so we can <coughs> join artist id with id column of artist table then in the songs table if you see album id is there which is matching with the album column id column sorry album table id column right <coughs> so this is how all these four tables are uh, related with each other in some or either way and from this we have 20 we have total 20 queries are given out of which we are covering only five queries in this session so let's start you have already seen the data right over here let me show you these are the data we have given now list all the <coughs> these are the all the four tables now first query we will solve list all artist for each record label sorted by artist name so over here artist and record label <coughs> these two tables we need to these two record label and artist these two tables we have to join right with the record label id and id column and we need to or the artist name we require in ascending order right sorted by artist name so what we will do we will simply uh, take select then artist name means we uh, we will take this column artist name then record uh, record label name from record label table and join artist er on r dot id with record label id right <coughs> so in this table record label id in this table it is id right and order by artist name right er dot name so this will be our uh, result set let me execute this query we have total <coughs> nine uh, different artist names right so all the nine artist names are coming with uh record label name in ascending order by artist name right so this will be our first query <coughs> let's jump to the next one <coughs> which record label have no artist so if you see over here <coughs> one one is presented in this artist table right then 6 is also presented in this artist table 
then 3 is also presented in this artist table and 2 is also presented in artist table. But which record label are not present in this artist table? Which is 5 and 4, right? 5 and 4 are not present in this particular artist table. There is no 5 and 4 are there, right? So now, we can make a left join over here. Record label, <coughs> left join artist table. Table, right? Then AR in artist table, it should be null, right? Because we want to cover all the records from the record label table and matching record with the artist table. But whenever there is no matching at that case, it will be a null, right? So we require only null records, right? So let me execute this one only. <clears throat> one minute. Comma. A dot star. Let me take a dot star for making you understand better. So if you see over here, these two records are coming null, right? So <coughs> that is our requirement only. So a dot record label ID is null. Now let me take, so these two MCA and Electra should be our result set, right? And let me remove this because we want only record label name only, right? So let me remove that one. So this should be our output, which I have highlighted in yellow in this first table, right? For your understanding purpose. <clears throat> now let me jump to the third query. List the number of songs per artist in descending order. So here, if you see in this second query, we can <clears throat> we will try with another method also. Let me try it. Select star from select star from record label. Where ID not in select record label id from artist table now Let me try to run this. So it is coming, right? MCN Electra. And we require <coughs> name only, right? So if you run this, both of this query, then it should be the same result set, right? So by this two way, we can found the solution of above query, second query. This is solution two. And this is solution one. Now let's uh, jump to the next uh, question. List the number of songs per artist in descending order. So over here we need to join three different table, artist table, album table and song table because we cannot directly join artist with song table, right? So for that, we need to join this album table also, which is mediator between artist and song table. So we can join artist table with album table with ID and artist ID column. And then album table with song table with album ID and then song table album ID column, right? Now let me Jump to the query. List the number of songs per artist in descending order. So over here, 
artist name right artist name is required and number of songs so count of star as number of song then we need to join all these three table song album and artist table by this joining condition which i have shown you in the excel file and then group by <coughs> er dot name order by count of star descending so this will give me number of songs by each of the artist right now let me jump to the fourth question now let me jump to the fourth question which artist or artists have recorded the most number of songs so if you see in this query we have already written this query right now this particular artist has recorded the most number of songs that is the uh, beatles right so now what we can do we can use that same query in the one one block of city then we have to write another city in which we can find the maximum of number of song which is 13 right which is 13 so that we can found in the city 2 and then in the next city uh, final uh, close we can join with city 1 with city 2 based upon this maximum number of songs right so if you see actually it is over here already right so now if you if we exec, uh, take this max number of songs then it will return 13 only right it will return 13 only and then it will join only one record which is over here 13 the beatles and in the final one we will take this artist name in the select close by joining both the cities right the beatles so the beatles have uh, recorded the most number of songs now if you see in this excel file this ninth row if you see the beatles one which is having nine as id now you have to find this nine in artist id column of album table so it is coming over here right and now this 13 you have to find it over here in the song table album id song table album id so 13 is coming 13 times right so which is the highest one so that is the result set we are getting now let me jump to the final one fifth question which artist or artists have recorded the least number of songs so so let me again uh, go to this query so in which two are coming one time two times three times four time and five times right so all two are our result set right so i have <coughs> so what i have done over here the same query again i i am using over here which is specifically calculate number of songs recorded by each artist now this will be our first city then in the second city in the second city i have taken this artist name with the n right now in the n we need to do minimum of n right minimum of n so that will be our third city and then we will join 
city three city three with a city three with city right our main main city and with this number of songs recorded so by this way we will get all the minimum which is total different five right five five artist name so all these five artist name have recorded the minimum songs minimum number of songs which is two right right this is the first way in which we have used the multiple city concept now in the <coughs> second solution we have used the group by with having and the derived table concept so if you see over here we have uh, created this one uh, inner query and we have given this inner query as temp1 table name right this is the same thing what we have done we have given this uh, entire table as temp1 table name and this is called as a derived table right now from this query what is our requirement from this query we have to identify having count equal to select minimum minimum of this uh, n which is declared over here from from this temp1 table which is our, our derived table so wo, that is our two right if you see again this query so in this minimum of n which is two will retrieve in this uh, outer block and which is uh, equal to having count of star so this particular artist name has recorded the least number of songs now if you run this both of this query which is one example with city and another example is derived table and having both will give the same result right apart from the order so that we can uh, manually uh, manage with the order by close right so this is our five query we will take another five query in the next uh, video and if you really uh, like the concept and the way of my explanation please do like comment share and subscribe as much as possible thank you